Now that we are just past the quarter pole of the sprint car season, I'm going to take a look at the five fastest cars in the country based on stats and or the eye test on this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9. To save some time, I'm going to jump right in with a trio of obvious choices in David Gravel, Brad Sweet, and Tyler Courtney. These are slam dunks, and there's no debate needed. Gravel leads the nation and wins with eight, and ha also has 18 top five finishes in 25 stars to sit atop the world of outlaw standings. As for Brad Sweet, he's only one win behind Gravel, but he leads the country in earnings with $175,000 in his bank account. And then there's Courtney. The Indiana driver's fourth in the nation and wins with five, but he's beaten the outlaws, he's beaten the high limit regulars, and he also has an unsanctioned win in central Pennsylvania. He has 19 top fives this season, including nine runner-up finishes. It's no wonder that he's leading the high limit standings and is only $6,000 behind Sweet in earnings. Those were the easy ones. The last two, based on consistency and what we've seen over the last two months. Carson Macedo cracks this list which is a big surprise to me after seeing him at Volusia. But Macedo and Jason Johnson Racing have righted the ship, and they've made up 130 points in the outlaw standings to sit second. Continuing with Macedo, he is in the midst of two impressive streaks, including 14 straight top fives and seven straight podiums. So this one was a no-brainer. The last one took some thought. There are a couple guys in the mix, like Brent Marks and Anthony Macri, but I'm going to go with Buddy Kofoy. I get that he only has one win, but he also has 13 top fives and 22 top 10 finishes in 25 starts. What stood out the most is how his car has performed in dirty air the last two months. And talking to guys in the pit area, they think the 83 is one of the top three cars in the country right now. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back Monday. Stay tuned.